title, Deafblind Communication Methods and Strategies, appears on screen. The title, Introduction, appears on screen. A young woman in a black top appears on screen and begins to sign. The population of people with deaf blindness is diverse due to a wide variation in degrees of vision and hearing loss, age of onset of vision and hearing impairment, and in some instances, the presence of other disabilities. But one thing that all people with deaf blindness have in common is the need for specialised communication support. In this video, you will be introduced to the most common deaf blind communication methods, techniques, and strategies used in Australia. While there are many telecommunication options available to people with deaf blindness now, this video will focus on face to face communication options. There is no standard terminology for the different deafblind communication methods and techniques, so it is important to be aware that the names given to the different communication methods described in this video may not be the names used in other states and other countries. We will start by looking at how to approach a person with deaf blindness. The title Approaching a Person with Deaf Blindness appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. A person with deaf blindness is approached on screen. You should Approach from the front, wave to get the person's attention, say the person's name unless you know they are deaf, tap the back for the person's arm if you're not sure you have their attention. Once you are sure you have their attention, let them know who you are. Now we will look at modifications to the environment and speech and language patterns to optimise communication using speech. The woman fades off screen and the title speech appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People in a meeting room appear on screen. Many people with deaf blindness give and receive information using speech. However, it is important to be mindful that just because someone has clear speech does not mean they can hear. For those people with sufficient hearing to hear speech, you can assist by ensuring that you Reduce background noise. Communicate in a room with good acoustics, one with carpet and soft furnishings and minimal hard surfaces. Stand close to the person. Stand with the light source on your face and not theirs. Stand on their preferred side. Speak clearly at a good volume. Always keep your lips visible when you are speaking and write down key information. Shushitage may also be used. Shushitage is the process of repeating word for word what a speaker has said and is used during presentations or large group meetings. This may be done at close range to the listener's ear if they are not close enough to a presenter to hear them directly or it may be done facing the person so they can both hear and pick up the lip patterns of what is being said at closer range. Audio loop and FM systems may also be used which direct sound from a microphone directly to a hearing aid or other listening device. Now we will look at a variety of deafblind communication techniques which use Auslan, the sign language used by the Australian deaf community. The woman fades off screen and the title visual frame sign appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign and people signing appear on screen. Some people with deaf blindness have a restricted field of vision and will only see signs within their field of vision. Interpreters and communication partners of people with restricted fields of vision need to work out what their frame of vision is and keep the signs within this frame. Signs outside of their visual field such as dog needs to be finger spelt, or the American version may be used. The woman fades off screen and the title tracking appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People appear on screen signing. As a person with Usher's syndrome's vision deteriorates, they may start to place their palm over the wrists of the person signing to them in order to be able to track where to look to see the signs and give them extra tactile information, such as the force behind the signs, which helps to convey the emotions behind the signs. The woman fades off screen and the title tactile sign appears on screen. 
The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People signing appear on screen. People who do not have sufficient hearing to hear speech or enough vision to see sign language may use tactile Auslan. Those who use tactile Auslan place their hands over the hand of their communication partner to feel the signs. As facial expression is an important part of Auslan, communication partners need to give extra information to help those using tactile Auslan understand what is being said. For example, a question mark needs to be drawn so they know they are being asked a question, and a smiley face or a sign for laughing is used if someone is making a joke. The woman fades off screen and the title, close range sign, appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. Others appear on screen signing. Auslan users with reduced central vision need signing to be at close range. Interpreters and communication partners should check with the person what the optimal distance is for them to be able to see the signs. The woman fades off screen and the title, Social Haptic Communication, appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People using haptics appear on screen. Social haptic communication is a tactile way of giving a person with deaf blindness information. For example, the layout of a room, facial expressions of people in a group, or that you have entered or are leaving a room, as well as features of art and music. It is important to check if the person with deaf blindness likes to use haptics and which haptics they are familiar with or prefer using. The woman fades off screen and the title Deaf Blind Fingerspelling appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. The Deaf Blind Manual Alphabet appears on screen. Deaf blind fingerspelling is typically used by someone who loses vision and hearing later in life. They will have good literacy skills, but not enough vision and hearing to hear speech or see sign. They may also be learning Auslan, but not have proficient enough Auslan to use this functionally. Deaf blind fingerspelling is very similar to the two handed alphabet that deaf people use, but each letter is produced onto the hand of the person who is deaf blind. The woman fades off screen and the title, Print on Palm, appears on screen. The woman fades on screen and begins to sign. The English alphabet appears on screen. Using block capital letters drawn with your index finger on a person's palm can be a way for people with deaf blindness to communicate with people who do not know sign language. Messages are drawn onto the receiver's palm. The person receiving the message needs to have good literacy skills and good sensation in their hands. This method can be used for older people who have lost vision and hearing later in life. The woman fades off screen and the title print appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People using speech and print for communication appear on screen. Some people with deaf blindness are able to speak but are not able to hear as they have lost hearing later in life. Often these people with deaf blindness need to receive information through large print notes. As with the other deaf blind communication techniques, this involves a lot of concentration and is very tiring. If a computer is available, this is easier to read than print as the text is more consistent. Some people like black print on white screen, but due to glare, some people with deaf blindness prefer white on a black background. For people whose preferred method is print, it is important to book a note taker or stenographer who will type out spoken information for the person with deaf blindness to read. A stenographer should be booked for meetings, forums and workshops, including online workshops and meetings. The woman fades off screen and the title Strategies to Support Early Communication Skills appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People using various communication strategies appear on screen. For people born with deaf blindness, or those who have additional cognitive disabilities or developmental delay who have limited language skills, other communication methods can be used to effectively engage and interact with this group. Routines are important to help people anticipate what will be happening next. Touch cues may also be used to prompt and give information. Real objects can be used to provide useful information. 
For example, passing a person a toothbrush when it's time for them to go and brush their teeth. Keyword signs may be used if the person does not have the language skills to understand longer messages. Some people with deaf blindness communicate through vocalizations, body movements, gestures, and facial expression. It is important that communication partners are very observant and receptive to their unique range of communicative behaviors. It is important that people born with deaf blindness feel seen and heard by others. For someone with no formal language skills, imitating their behaviors is a good way to let them know you have seen and heard them and are interested in them and what they have to say. The woman fades off screen and the title, Final Points, appears on screen. The woman appears on screen and begins to sign. People using various deaf blind communication methods appear on screen. It is important to note that typically people with deaf blindness will use a variety of communication methods and it will depend on the context and the communication partner as to what method they use. Always check with the individual if there is anything you can do to support communication and ask what their communication preferences and needs are. Communication issues pose many challenges for people with deaf blindness. However, skilled, trained, sensitive and observant communication partners can help to reduce isolation, provide important opportunities for learning and for just having a good laugh together. We have touched very briefly on a variety of communication methods and strategies here. For further information, please contact DeafBlind Information Australia. The woman fades off screen and the title DeafBlind Information Australia appears on screen with a web address reading www.deafblindinformation.org.au.